By the way, there's a little bombshell on Chilcott that I wanted to uh, share with everyone right about now. Alex, what, what's your feeling on this one? Well, Brian, um, I was at GCHQ at the time and we had people running up and down uh, to our desk saying, the political types, right, the ones who didn't have any expertise, saying, guys, guys, it's like really important that we like find some link between 9-11 and Iraq, right? Uh, some months before Catherine Gunn, who, who was in my very section, became the whistleblower and uh, leaked that uh, email to the independents about spying on the UN in advance of the second resolution. So the first thing we had in the services and in the intelligence uh, agencies was, there is a drive to connect Saddam to something we can pin him to. Afterwards came all the intelligence and the dossiers. And I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if Chilcott pans the agencies and their heads because it's a safe option tomorrow. After all, prime ministers always choose their um, safe pair of hands to, uh, to uh, appoint to inquiry heads. And we see that in Scotland as well with the child sexual abuse uh, inquiry. Uh, it bears repeating, I said it before, but Sir John Chilcott was at this very time of the Iraq war, none less than the staff councillor for the agencies, at least for GCHQ, and I believe for the other two as well. So he was the man you went to if you had problems of conscience about what you were being told to do. I, um, <laughs> I've got to pause for a moment because I didn't know that, uh, Alex. I'm happy to admit that on air. I did not know that. Well, well, well. Now, in case you didn't fully understand what Mr Alex Thompson just said, Chilcott was staff councillor for the Joint Intelligence Services in the run-up, in the lead-up to the actual Iraq war. In fact, in essence, from at least the end of 2002, around 2003, before, before it all went in, before we went in and created the disaster that we've created and that we're still suffering from now and that so many people and just too many lives have been suffering from but yeah that's Chilcott he's the one who when people said you know what I, I, I don't know if I can if I should do this I don't know if I should make this decision I don't know if I should have this person that we've had on terrorist watch list have them arrested at this point or do we interrogate one of their family members or I mean all these difficult decisions and and um, tasks that people would be assigned and expect to, 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 to do when they had those moments of you know I don't know call it being a human being you know having somewhere in them some kind of morality that trying to resist and he was the one who said no 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 it's fine it's fine you're doing it for the good of Britain you're doing it to make many people safe that same softly spoken voice of reason has now said yeah a lot of what happened shouldn't have happened well okay we already know the way the so-called establishment. A friend of mine asked me, what do I mean by the establishment? I mean, those who are in comfortable positions, who rig the system to benefit them and only them and whoever they choose. And to hell with the rest of humanity. That's who I mean by the establishment. They're in different levels of society. You know, not all of them, when I say comfortable, I mean, not all of them are millionaires and billionaires. There are some absolute idiots or yes men or foot soldiers who don't have millions in the bank, but who are still happy to be uh, order takers and just go out and do whatever their masters tell them. They themselves are also part of the establishment because they help keep the status quo going. So anyway... We have a battle on our hands, but as I said, it's more of a battle of self-transformation. Focus on yourself, but not at the expense of your neighbor. Help yourself so that you can help your neighbor. Baby steps. Kind of like Bill Murray.
feel wonderful. I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. I feel good.